Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Aries for the week starting the 25th of July. Now this week we have tidings of joy, particularly when it comes to your love life, because we have got a new moon in the fifth house, which is in fellow fire sign Leo. And that's all about fun and creativity and gathering your self-confidence back again. You may have felt that you've lost confidence in some way, whether you're in a long-term relationship or whether you're single, you may have felt a little bit down on yourself. And what a lot of people don't know about Aries is they do go through phases where they're not as confident as they seem. And if you've gone through that recently, this is the week to embrace who you truly are, to know what a loving soul you are, to get in touch with all of those kind of qualities that a Leo has that are very similar to yours in some ways, to be generous of spirit, to be magnanimous, to be kind, to be confident and warm. Obviously, you don't go into the shadow side of Leo, which can be a little bit arrogant and maybe too proud. Avoid that. But step into who you are as a lover and allow yourself to be the warm and generous soul that you naturally are. And you'll feel great about you and other people should be drawn towards you. It's a time to have confidence, not only in yourself, but in the universe and to know that love is all around you. You are love, everywhere you look is love. And it's only through kind of jaded blinkers that we see other things. We have a choice about how we see the world and it's your turn now to see the world with the eyes of love. When it comes to your career, we have Uranus, the planet of irrationality and spontaneity, squaring Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. So there could be a bit of a tussle where you feel a bit conflicted about what you want in your career, other people's opinions and how far you can go. Or it could be that you want to run before you can walk. You want to do something now that brings your creativity in when actually you just need to see it from a different angle. It's in your second house. There could be a part of you that is torn between being secure and grounded in what you're doing and also being footloose and fancy free. You will find the way. And the key is to look at everything from a different point of view. Look at it as if you were different people, not from your own set viewpoint. And you could come up with a stunning and astonishing answer. I send you much love and I'll speak to you soon.